Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ravi and today I am going to teach you about some extracorporeal knot techniques which you can use to tie viscous during the laparoscopic surgery. The best suture material for this knot application should be a silk or you can also use a vicryl for this tying this knot. Okay, so let, let us see the technique techniques. First technique is Dr. Sanjeeva's technique, which I will demonstrate to you firstly. You will ask your assistant to practice this kind of knot and once you are practiced enough and you are confident that you can use this knot for your laparoscopic surgery, then you should apply this. Here I am using a silk, it is a, a thick thread, it is non-absorbable which is going to stay with your uh, viscous. Let us start. So you will ask your assistant to show you a finger like this and now you are going to hold the thread and here you have to remember that right hand thread, right hand silk should be smaller than your left hand. So how we will do this? We will see here that we have this silk in my hand. The smaller arm is in my right hand. So we will hold both of these like this and then we will use this arm to tie this knot. What you, what we will do, we will do three full whirls of these two arms. One, and you can see two, and you can see three. And after that, you have to go so after that you have to grow go from downside up into this loop now here your knot is ready you can see how easily it's moving can you see the moment yeah so once this is there you are going to hold one uh, longer thread out of the abdomen with one instrument and then you you can use a knot pusher and then you see how easily it's moving there and if you want, you can come close to see on the finger that the pressure effect caused by this knot. Can you show the camera to the like near to the finger that the pressure effect is there? Good. Now I will demonstrate you the second technique where I will do the left arm shorter arm. So how we do this? This is the second technique. We hold the thread. It could be a vicryl, it could be a silk, or it could be any other thread. So we are holding the thread and you can see the left arm has to be shorter for this knot. Now you go there, you hold both threads together and then from here you have now two arms. This is the right arm or this is the left arm you can see. So what I will do is you take this thread and you will do one half loop can you see this this is one half loop there is no knot then number two comes the one full loop full whirl and then you are going to hold this like this and then after this you will do a half knot half knot has to be done on the right arm and you can see this 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 is the half knot after this half knot you will do the one full loop after this there will be a half knot like this this is the half knot and after this this will be the last full loop and after that last full loop there will be a last half knot so you can see there are three half knot and there are Three full loop. Now all are your knots are aligned. Now you leave this, and then you have your knot right there, and this knot is going to move. So you see, this is moving. This is going to the viscous, and you can use this to ligate the um, appendix. You can use this on cystic duct. You can use this wherever you think this will work for you. You see the pressure effect. Can you show the pressure effect right here? 
and you will hold this with the Maryland and you will to the longer arm this is going to be outside that's why it is called extra carpurial knot and you can tie the knot you can give the pressure appropriate pressure and your knot is ready and then you cut your thread from here and then you're out thank you very much I request all my viewers that if you like this content and if you think this could help to the future learning laparoscopic surgeon please do subscribe share and like to this video thank you very much